Hey, my name is Alex Akubo and I'm me Bitty Johnny. Keep watching Coco Box TV. Johnny says so. Sorry. What? <laughs> oh my god, guys, I'm so excited about the guest I have on the show today. She's beautiful, she's talented, she's hit the industry by storm. I'm talking of Shay Shay. It's 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 funny that you know everywhere I go now they call me a dancer. Okay. Just to think that I never knew how to dance before. Before I never ever before I was in my girl band from yeah. above. I did not yeah. know how to dance at all. I spent three years training. How has the transition been from the UK to Houston and then to Nigeria? Um, well, the transition from the UK to Houston okay. was pretty cool okay. and easy because mm. I was doing it with four other girls okay. and I had nothing to lose okay. and my mom had just passed away okay, so, so I was on my own anyway you know not having my dad around and uh, it was exciting okay. exciting because in Houston with the girls and Matthew was like being part of a boot camp okay you know because he put us um, to work with choreographers okay. and vocal trainers and producers. We recorded an album. Okay. We went on tour with Beyonce. We opened her shows sure, for her yeah. in the UK. We had our own, re we did our own reality, reality show. show. We filmed yeah. that for like three months in Houston. Okay. And we performed at certain um, events in Houston okay. and in New York. Okay. Um, but ultimately, the most valuable things were the lessons that I learned. Um, how the discipline. To, yeah, the discipline. Yeah. Do you come up with the concept of your videos or does your team do that for you? Because yeah. everything shows you are like, this is Shay Shay, like you're a force to reckon with. Really? That, yeah, I feel. Like your Raga Raga video, yeah. I haven't seen a video like that before. At that time. In, at, yeah, at, that at that time. time. And also with Irawo, Irawo, I hadn't seen time. a video like that. At that time, I see what you're saying. Um, your murder video, yeah. I haven't seen a video yeah, yeah. like that. At that time, so yeah, 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 you're right. Is it, is it your concept or is it what, that's the vision they're going for? Okay, so with Irawa, okay. that was like, I wrote, I think I did the whole treatment for that video. Okay. And I don't know what I was thinking okay. when I was doing that treatment. All I knew is that I wanted it to be, I wanted to just be a little bit like risque okay. and a little bit rebellious. Like I knew the things that would make Nigerians say, ah, you know, <laughs> I knew it. And I was like, I want to do that okay. because um, it would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a little bit naughty like that in a, okay. in a sense. But um, at the same time, I did take elements from some of my people that I look up to, mm -hmm. Beyonce, you know, Kerry Hilson, um, Tamar Braxton. Mm -hmm. There were elements from all of those people yeah. in that era video, if you look, watch yeah. closely. I, I, but I wanted to show that as a Nigerian, mm -hmm. we can do, we can do that. We can do And this. still make it and African. still make it yeah. traditional. I love the fact the guy was talking in, and was, you were dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was really so good. So that was that pretty was much, good. and and I got that actually, that idea from another video, which I won't mention, but, mm -hmm. but, um, I did that, and you and as I as I thought, the Nigerians were like, ah, she came from water, she went back to water, ah, she's wearing mini skirts, she's dancing in the sand, hey, she's beautiful, you know. But it was talked about, and it was great, and it actually made the song more popular. So I want to talk about your style. Mm. I can't place you anywhere. I can't say you're always just sexy because I saw a picture of the Genevieve um, ball. Yeah. You looked, I've not seen you like that before. Yeah. But then I see other interviews and you're, there was one where you had a pouch mm -hmm. and, and, a, and, a, and, and a the beanie. beanie. And yeah. Sometimes I have like 
baggy um, couture clothes oh. or sometimes I have vintage clothes oh, okay. on. Where do you get your inspiration? What's your my style? mood. Your mood? Okay. So everything you do, your music, it's, your it's, fashion. It's from, my, it's from the so inside. It's real. It's real. It's very it's real. real. Yeah, yeah. If you were not a singer, what else would you be? I'm gonna probably confuse the whole world that's watching this now. I used to say I would be, I would work for NASA. Like I would really? probably yeah be doing like quantum physics or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, just because I've always been interested in science okay. that way. So yeah, but now like the deeper I get into music okay. and the more I I I I'm in touch with my relationship with. Uh, Art. Art, okay. I probably would be. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. Not fashion, not painting. Yes, probably painting, painting actually. Okay. Yeah, probably painting. I, mean, I guess that. No, no, no. <laughs> but not, not, not like detailed painting, painting. like Picasso. No, like, but like just. Like throwing it yeah, in the wall. Okay. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah. Rolling around in paint and just like. Yeah, I don't know. Some kind of creative. You seem thing. like a fun person. And I know that you're, you have so many endorsement deals and you're probably busy all the time, like now you're on tour. Yes. What do you do when you're hanging out, when you're chilling? What is it that Shay Shay does for fun? Mm. I enjoy cooking. Oh, you do? What's yes. your favorite dish? Your foie and egg Oh, so, really? Yes. Okay, I watched an interview and your favorite was My amala. favorite food is amala. Okay, but what are you best do with at making? But I don't know how to make wagyu. Okay. So I don't even, you know, I don't eat it enough. Okay. So it remains my favorite, favorite food. Okay. Yeah, but my strongest dish to make is F1. F1 ABC. Really? What um, do you what do you put what kind of meat do you put in? Um it? turkey, bomo, okay. crayfish. So do you have a boo that you cook for? I haven't cooked for him yet. Okay, so you guys are still in that stage. Ah, that's a good one. I was told don't treat a boyfriend like a husband. Until he's a husband. Yeah, that's good actually. That's, yeah, that's, that's my true. old roommate told me, "Hi, Paige." <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paige. Hey. <laughs> so you've not yet cooked for him yet. Okay. So when you cook for him, is that when you, he knows? Okay, I'm really, really, I've gotten her. Well, I've cooked for my friends before. Okay. Like female and male. Okay. So I guess it depends on how. I think what matters is how often you okay, cook you for cook, him. Okay. I don't think like yeah you don't want to go to this because it's like if i'm hungry i'm going to cook if you want to eat eat, eat. Like, oh that's yeah. true but if i now start feeling obligated like oh oh my boo hasn't eaten yet oh babe what do you want to eat and stuff okay. like that then it becomes then it qualifies then right. it becomes okay right. okay about dating yeah how is the how is it dating african men in niger in africa versus dating anybody else in uk or in america or wherever I've heard that Nigerian men, mm -hmm. not African, but Nigerian men, okay. like are, you know, they have loads of girlfriends at the same time, and they, you know, this, that, and the That's other. That's what I heard too. But I do think that they do take care of their women yeah. very, very well because you know it's almost it's traditional too in the sense that you know the man is supposed to be the provider, okay. and it's the man that kind of you know is at the front. Takes, you should take everything care of takes control of everything and pays for everything. It's not about the girl being a gold digger. Yeah, it's, it's actually not about guys, the, the Nigerian just men. just being raised. Yeah, it's the Nigerian yeah. men that make us, you know, feel like, well, we don't have to do anything, anything. because they want to do everything. everything. They want to marry a wife and put her in the house and give, you know, give her everything, everything. she needs so she doesn't have to go anywhere. And that's literally how Nigerian men are. They, it's, that's how we're raised. Definitely. It's how, that's how we're raised, you know. So it's not really our fault when we expect a man to do everything, everything. for us, yeah. Okay. I'm an independent woman and I, like, I have my own job, I have my own car, okay. I have my own place, so, and I, and I was raised in London. So okay. my mentality is a little bit different. Okay. But I still expect from a Nigerian man okay. the things that... They but if, it, if he's not Nigerian, then it's... You're if he's not expecting. Nigerian, I'm not like I'm not gonna be like, oh god, I wish he was Nigerian so that he could buy me but, this thing. Okay. No. What about in terms of like you being who you are and them accepting who you are, not you know being so traditional? Because I think here they're more Westernized, right? Um, but how do you deal with it? I just think that like whoever is going to date me has to obvious clearly know that I'm an artist. Yeah. yeah. But as you no, because obviously you follow my journey yeah. um, and you know me pretty well. You, you know that I'm a bit of a chameleon and like I'm an yeah. amphibian. I can just kind of, 
No, no, in the sense that if I'm going to church, I'm not going to dress like yeah. on stage. If I'm dating a guy that is um, responsible, I'm not going to wear hot pants to dinner. Mm, to dinner. So, yeah. like, I know what I want in a guy, mm -hmm. and I don't want him to be, you know, like irresponsible person. Yeah. So I'm going to dress accordingly. And thank God people know me to be able to fit into any kind of okay. costume role you know it's it's not that i'm not being myself okay. it's just that i'm showing different sides to me okay and so whoever's going to date me is going to just accept first of all that i am who i am but obviously expect me to be shay shay okay. the person that can do all things like dressing i'm joking no. <laughs> but you know like wear you know anything and, and make it look good make, make it, look it work good at least you know and i feel also it's about your character and your personality okay. so african men well african men and nigerian men are totally different i agree yeah like african men are african men nigerian men are nigerian, nigerian men. men and i feel that definitely we are definitely probably the most traditional mentality wise so you, you know you've got to be careful but whoever's going to date this is going to know that i mean i'm not <laughs> going to embarrass you you know just put it that way Thank you guys for watching. See you guys again. My name is Nag and this is The Box. This is Shay Shay. Signing out. Peace out. Peace out.